Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Earlier I did a video on booting Raspbian from a USB drive without an SD card and I wanted to test the speeds. A few days ago I made a video on the new Element 14 Pi desktop that supports mSATA. So I also tested it against that. This was just a quick and dirty test using DD. I tested the write speed and the read speed of all of these drives here. Now I'm going to leave a link in the description to each one of these so you can check out the specs on them. I'll leave links in the description to the videos I also did on how to get your Raspbian to boot from USB and the Pi desktop. So these are all running on a Raspberry Pi 3. I tested each one three times with write and with read speeds. As you can see at the very bottom in yellow, the very first one is the PNY 16 gigabyte SD card. The best write was 11.9. The worst write was 10.8. Best read, 22.6. Worst read, 22.5. We'll move over to the USB drive. Now this is booting directly from the USB drive. Best write was 21.4. Worst write was 13.3. Now the read speeds really improved with the USB drive to 40.4 and the worst one was 36.1. And finally, the Pi desktop running that mSATA. 128 gigabyte Mushkin. Now the best write was 38.9. The worst write was 30.7. Best read was 32.4. And the worst read was 32.2. Now when using this from a USB drive, there's a few things to note. The Ethernet shares the same bandwidth with the USB ports. So if you have Ethernet and extra USB drives or USB peripherals, it could slow down your USB read and write speeds. In all three of these tests here, I did not have Ethernet plugged in or Bluetooth and Wi-Fi enabled. This was just a fresh install of Raspbian Pixel, and I wanted to see the performance difference between them. So you might get better read speeds from a better SD card. Now I chose this PNY because they're very cheap and a lot of people have these cheap Class 10 SD cards. They perform pretty good, but if you go to a USB drive, your performance will increase. I mean, there's no doubt about it. If you go to an mSATA, your performance is definitely going to increase. So something just to keep in mind. I mean, if you guys want to test this out, I'm going to leave a text document down below on how I ran these tests in terminal running Raspbian Pixel. Like I said, if you have a high end SD card, you might be able to score just as good as that 128 gigabyte USB drive did. So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I just wanted to make this real quick. I got some family over and I wanted to get this out because I was very interested to see how well USB performed over SD, especially checking out that USB M SATA. And that's what it's running from. It's running from a USB port and it's inside of the Element 14 Pi desktop. Links are on screen now and in the description if you want to check out both of those videos. Like always, thanks for watching.